Hey everyone. Hey, I thought I would um, show you guys one of the projects that I worked on um, last semester. So that would be the spring of 2021 semester. Uh, it's when I was a junior. I was in, the class was called uh, Design, uh, let's see, Design Analysis and Prototyping. It's where we used a software called um, SolidWorks to run FEA analysis on uh, theoretical parts. Um, so like FEA analysis is, uh, it's called, it stands for finite element analysis. It's basically where the software knows, like you program, okay, this, this thing is made out of titanium or steel or copper, or in this case, plastic. Um, and you um, you analyze it like I'm gonna put a force here and see how it deforms and stuff so it, it knows like it, in the software uh, it, it it knows it's programmed uh, this type of material or this molecule or whatever will react this way to you know you can test heat vibration um, just plain force, uh, repetitive forces, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but really, uh, here's, here's the, here's one project that I worked on, uh, in that class. Uh, this was a very, very small project, uh, but it's a cool project. Um, and it's, uh, so I was allowed to make a chess piece generally. I just, I chose a queen in this case, um, or I could make, you know, some kind of keychain thing. Just they just wanted you to be creative and get a feel for 3D printing. This is a 3D printed part. Isn't that cool? Uh, so I made a queen. So here's what I here's the here's a queen that I kind of uh, uh base the dimensions off of but the design is completely my own i came up with the de design all my all myself so and i did not i <laughs> i was not allowed to uh, pick the color <laughs> um but uh so yeah it it's kind of original uh there's some chamfers on there you know some interesting things uh and it's hollow actually. It's uh, an eighth of an inch, the walls all the way around are an eighth of an inch thick and it's hollow inside. Uh, so I was, and, and I made it square cause I was like, when do you ever see a square chess piece, you know? <laughs> so, um, but it's hollow because I wasn't sure how stable it was gonna be. It, it has a very low center of gravity because a lot of the mass is down here because it's so wide down here uh, and it's, very uh a lot of the material is in the center of the piece so it goes straight down and you know it's very stable because it has a wide base um but i purposely made it hollow well first of all you have to make it hollow when uh in this case you have to make it hollow when it when you're 3d printing something because you can't 3d print too thick of a wall or it will warp or deform in some way while it's printing it because you know you have to heat up the plastic to get it to like a melting point in order to print the part so if you make too thick of a wall then things don't cool down properly and different things uh, but anyway um, I made it hollow so I could put sand or something something like that in there uh, just in case it wasn't stable enough uh, or I wanted to make it heavier or whatever um, and then a wide enough base that I could paste like felt paper on it or something so yeah I thought I would show that to you because I thought it was cool and you might too um, so there you go <laughs> hoping it, uh, hope that was cool for you I uh, I'm if I can ever get my hands on a 3D printer, they can be pretty expensive. I mean, for a good one, they're pretty expensive. Then on top of that, you have to you have to have some skill to print properly. Like, you know, you have to. There's uh, not um, 
you can uh, you have to adjust the speed the temperature all sorts of stuff on a 3d printer and you know if you want to print something this big you know you have to get a certain size printer too so you know and and different printers have different qualities and strengths and so i don't know i it'll be a while maybe if, uh, if i do get one but i i would i think it would be cool to get like to get a printer where i could print a whole you know black and white you know chess piece set that would be cool <laughs> yeah because i mean you can choose the color you know i couldn't but <laughs> you can uh if if, if um, you have your own printer <laughs>